George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. of mystery with unanswered questions that boggle the mind. How does he do that? How do they eat that? <laughs> what is that smell? And is he talking to a volcano? How can you be bored? You're a volcano. Me? Why is this my problem? You what? It boggles the mind. I'm afraid his mind is already boggled. More ink! Oh! about you, Daddy? Don't worry about me. Worry about the volcano. He is not well. <laughs> now everyone will believe me when I say you are a loopy chuckle brain. <laughs> ha! You missed. I only got ten points. <laughs> Laugh all you want. The volcano is bored. <laughs> In fact, just for fun, he's thinking of covering us all with lava and starting over. Volcanoes do not talk. They do not get bored. They do not have feelings. Unless we can find a way to cheer him up, he will explode. Hmm. Oh, George could tell him some jokes. Maybe do some magic. Observe. <laughs> George, I want you to gather together everyone in the jungle. What are we gonna do, Daddy? We are gonna put on a show. <laughs> Loopy chuckle brain. Ow! <laughs> <sighs> now this you don't see in the city. Mankind and animals working together, putting on a show to make a mountain happy. <laughs> Charles, you must go now. Stay. Go. Wait. Stay. Uh, why is Magnolia telling that tree to leave? <laughs> Tree, leave! <laughs> She's acting, George. It's where you change the way you talk and move. And become a whole different person. <laughs> ah! What did you do with me? Come back to me! George! He's acting! Hey! Oh, good acting. Uh, but I still think we should try telling the volcano some jokes. <laughs> Polly, you want a cracker. I want a cracker. Let's run off together and have a cracker. Next! Uh, shouldn't we be just a little nicer? Okay. Can you guess who this is? Oh, do not wake me when I'm sleeping, or I become a horrible, horrible monster! <laughs> it's Ursula. Next! I just love bananas of above. We must be bananas to fall in love. <laughs> yeah! Cookie! <clears throat> Volcanoes and gentlemen! Next! 
What's big? Next! Ugly? Next! Use lava! Thank you! And, and where's the big dress? A volcano? In a big dress! <laughs> Don't call us! We'll call you! They're gonna call me! Magnolia, that is so great you got the lead part of the Volcano Princess. Do you think I got it because I'm the only one that fits the dress? Sure. Being the director's daughter had nothing to do with it. Must be some mistake. George not seeing George's name on the cast list. <laughs> George, there isn't a part for you. But one of the main characters is the king of the jungle. We cast that already. Oh, you gotta let George be in Volcano Pageant. George, I had to pick who I thought could save the jungle best. Nobody saves the jungle better than George. Can't I do something? No. Aha! Hey, I can even be guard number six. How about it? Hey. Please. Oh, oh, Woogie. Well, all right. <laughs> Creatures of the jungle, do you not tremble at my scariness? <laughs> George! <laughs> George! <laughs> Polly wants a stretcher. Oh, oh, Woogie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dare to challenge me to a fight? Guards! <laughs> we got something new for you to do in the volcano pageant. Really? What is it? Sit in the audience. <gasps> and play the part of the guard in the audience? Uh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> the show's about to start. Well, shouldn't you be I'm sitting in the front row? I'm too nervous. What if George forgets not to say one of his lines he doesn't have? Oh, you'll be fine. Right. Uh, good luck, everyone. Ah! Oops. Sorry. Good thing Swole and Ivy there to break your fall. What? <laughs> we have to cancel the show. We can't cancel the show. Well, I can't go out there like this. Ursula, you'll have to play the princess. I don't know the lines. Oh, George sat through all the rehearsals. George knows the princess's lines. You do? So, can George be Volcano Princess? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you want the red wig or the blonde one? Greetings, gentle jungle creatures! It is I, the beautiful Volcano Princess, here to, <clears throat> here to dance for you! This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> the volcano is not entertained! Well, what do you want? You want it scarier, funnier? Just tell me. Tell me what you want already. You've got to be kidding. This is too dangerous. George can handle this. I just can't believe he looks better than me in that dress. Okay, George, uh, go for it. Uh, oh, mighty and powerful volcano. Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> it's working. Oh, uh, well, why do you think that's funny? Listen to this. Why did the villagers wear red running shoes? To run away from the lava. <laughs> hey, that joke is hot, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's this? I'm bored! Arr, I'm gonna explode! <laughs> Thank you! Uh -oh. George! 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 <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, what do you get when you cross molten rock with an iceberg? <laughs> Good one! <laughs> How much longer is this gonna go on? Until the volcano says to stop. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Uh, did you hear the one about the pig who didn't want to build his own house? Uh, so, so he hired a boa constructor. <laughs> okay, 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 got one. Okay, knock, knock. Of the many terrors in the jungle, one is so horrible, oh. it makes kings of the jungle weak knee. Oh. 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 Jungle cleanup day! Huh. The animals in this place are pigs! George, pigs are usually very tidy, just not during the playoffs. Hmm. Weird shaped fruit. Hmm. Ow, not fruit. A seashell. What's a seashell? Seashells are things people collect for some reason. If you hold a seashell up to your ear, you hear the ocean. Hey, buddy, put me in your pocket nice and easy and act like nothing's wrong. It's talking to me! Yes, it's the sound of the ocean. Pretty neat, huh? I said, put me in your pocket. <laughs> Habitat for two manatees is such a good cause. Where shall we have them put the bathroom? How about right here? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Ocean want? Oh, really? <clears throat> George spent all morning holding that shell to his ear. <clears throat> Where did he find a shell around here anyway? It was just lying on the ground. I told him if he listened to it, he'd hear the ocean. George has never been to the ocean, but now, thanks to that shell, he knows what it sounds like. Then you're gonna call me a small, very comfy couch. Comfy couch? With a footrest, and a maple dresser, and a tiny hammock of the finest silk, and you know what happens if you don't. <laughs> George's head will fall off. Right, and don't forget it. George! Uh, can I help you? We were wondering if you were gonna help us lift these rocks. <laughs> Oh, just a sec. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Only silk George could find was an Ursula's scarf. Can't take that. Oop! George's going through a tunnel! I might lose you! Ah! Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, George, uh, you must really like the sound of ocean waves. Not waves. Ocean talks to George. Listen. Whoosh. 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 See? Get 120 feet of wood, 15 foot of rope, a brown bag lunch, and a root beer with a lid on it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Ape, do you have some paper? I have to write this stuff down. Oh, really? I can do that. George! This rock's telling you to build my kid a tree fort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, and this piece of bark's talking to me. Wait, it says, make me a three-masted schooner out of Brazil nuts. <laughs> Great. Mocking turtle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh! Hey! He forgot to set place for ocean. Uh-huh. Okay. George, could you pass the potatoes? <laughs> His hearing seems fine. Right! Ah, <laughs> no problem, Gravy. Have you taken any bite falls lately, George? Nope. Just crashed into lots of trees like normal. Eat quick. George has lots of stuff to make and build and sew and finish. Oh, I think my spoon may be dirty. George, what do you think? Yeah, uh, looks pretty clean from here. But George has been very, very busy. I might not be seeing strange.
What George needs is a quick ear cleaning. Ah. What he needs is the ancient wheel of snake teeth and pigeon feathers. <laughs> Three out of five witch doctors recommend it. Get away from him, you primitive shaman! Please, don't squeeze the shaman! <laughs> hey, hey! Come on, let's go! Go, go! <laughs> George followed all Ocean's instructions. Uh, what you want with this big springy thingy anyway? No questions! Now double check the coordinates and pull the lever. Hey, you've got earrings just like Magnolia and a scarf just like Ursula. Uh, must be a fan. Everybody's got the same look. Pull the lever! But, uh, what about George's head? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, just keep it out of the sun and use conditioner. Your head will be fine. Yeah! Hmm. George, have you seen my earrings? Or my scarf? Oh, somebody took them! No, uh, but when Ocean left, he had some just like them. A seashell had earrings? And you're saying the Ocean left? That's why George had to make Ocean the springy thingy. Did, did, did my head fall off? George, we'd love to believe a seashell told you to build a catapult, but... Do you think George is... <gasps> lying? Oh, well, not lying, lying. No, George, just lying, lying. But for a good reason. <laughs> Probably. George is not a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Have to find Ocean. Make it tell friends that George isn't lying. George. So this hawk flies me away from here and drops me in the jungle. The jungle. Wow. Luckily, I find this knucklehead who I can get to make me this deluxe furniture. I I do love this couch. Thanks, Wobble Eyes. Ocean! Uh-oh. Shout! <laughs> oh, ocean! 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 Great. So in order to find George, we're going to climb into this contraption and fling ourselves to who knows where? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's get this over with. Hello? Hello? Ocean? Hey, George! <laughs> Glad you can make it. Oh, Ocean, friends think George is a liar. I have to take Ocean back to show them I'm not. Whoa, big guy. No more travel for me. Look, if everyone makes fun of you, why go back? Stay here. You can get me some berries and spiders. It'll be fun. But my friends. Hey, you don't want your head to fall off, do ya? <laughs> the fairies and spiders coming up. I can't see. We're at a beach. It's covered with crabs. You know how Mike and Betty Oyster always wanted to adopt? Ah, Magnolia, your pearl earrings. Where? Where? All right, who ordered grapes? Who had the spiders? <laughs> and who ordered the sea scum smoothie? Hurry it up, Stretch. Are you gonna build a small furniture or aren't you? And sweep up this sand, huh? And hang up a sunshade, huh? <gasps> I don't believe it. Conniving crabs? George was telling the truth the whole time. That's embarrassing. Ape, get us over there now! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ocean, George has done many things for you, and even though I don't want my head to fall off, you've got to come back with me and tell my friends that I was telling the truth. No, I ain't going nowhere with you. Crabs attack! Ah! 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 Ah!
Leave him alone. <gasps> A talking tree. The jungle is angry. You must return, George. With my earrings and the scarf. With the earrings and the scarf. <gasps> These trees walk pretty good. Look, tree, we're just simple crabs with some nice furniture. What do you want from us? When are you going to tell George that it's us in here? When we're a little closer to home. Mush! Or your heads will fall off! <laughs> George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. He stalks the jungle, totally weirding out its inhabitants. He's terrified, yet also strangely hilarious. What manner of horrific beach ball-like creature could this be? It's George, everybody's favorite jungle king. He's just come down with a bad case of acute puffitis. Didn't even know it was real until now. But hey, that's life in crazy town. But how did George catch such a rare and ungainly disease? Was it a bite from that vampire puffer fish? Did he catch it from that overly affectionate puffin? Or maybe that hostile tribe of puffy pillows? You got me, but I'll run some tests. Until then, stay away from anything, Char. And do not go to the beach. Come, George. Let's get you home to rest. No, ape! A coop poop aritis no stop king of jungle! Who? George, prove he still be good king! Oh, George need breeze! Little did George suspect, but he was being watched by the all-knowing and stylish Council of Apes! The king is far too round to protect the jungle! We must take action! Time to summon the Steve. Yes, the Steve. I'm mean, his pocket. Can we go back to talking? No, we use telepathy because your breath smells like zebra cheese. That was me. Can't we just summon the Steve already? Go wreck your own planet, Space Rocks. This moment would never come. Steve, the jungle needs you. You are our only hope. I know. You need to rest, George. Yes, we have summoned the Steve to take over your duties while you heal. The Steve? Wait, who's Steve? And what you mean, take over? Ooh. Yes, space diving is awesome. I would normally introduce myself, but... Oh, can I? This handsome devil is Steve. A jungle orphan like George, Steve was raised by apes, but left the jungle when he was still young. Steve became the most successful person ever. Three countries, two continents, and the moon were named after him. Don't you mean the Steve? It's time to put the team back together, Ape. Ape and Steve know each other? Ape and I go way back. 
We're best friends and even better partners. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Don't you worry, George. Just think of me as a better version of you. Come on, ape, there's a jungle to rumble. Steve, I really do. <laughs> no, George King, George Pine. George, show everyone. Uh. Oh, turkey, turkey. Glorious! <laughs> Just like I remember. You're not upset about. <laughs> Ape, please, do I look like someone with a burning desire for revenge? My only burning desire is to protect this jungle. But first, time to take this place to the cliff. Steve, stop! You'll flood the entire jungle! Much better. Uh -oh. That the old girl could use a little sparkle. <laughs> what happened? It was Steve. He destroyed everything. We have to stop. And replaced it with this. <laughs> now I can charge triple. Just showing my appreciation for the fine work you do, Doc. <laughs> Serves me right for standing too close. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Steve? Hmm, where did everybody go? Hello? 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 Steve, what's he done to? Steve! Huh? Steve flew this water park in just for the day. Can you believe it? Ursula Splish Bass! Steve Good King! Tell George that Steve Bad King! Tell George that animals want George back! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Steve's doing a fine job. Stop that noise! Oh, yes. Steve very good. Maybe he should be king. That's just it. He was supposed to be. Years ago, I trained Steve in the ways of the jungle. He was smart. He was brave. He was strong. But he was also a jerk. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was my fault that I had failed Steve as his mentor. Until we discovered he'd been born with an angry weasel for a heart. I didn't know what to do. But then came the great orphan storm of 99. That's when I found George. And I knew he'd be a good king. Plus, the council always had a weakness for the newest fads, like taco manicures or zebra shoes. And you couldn't get any newer than George. <laughs> Steve was forgotten. Until now. But it appears he's not the weasel-hearted man I thought he was. George, Ape's second choice? George, I brought you to the council because I believe there's more to a jungle king than being a fantastic, beloved, effective, handsome, natural leader. That does sound quite weak when I say it out loud. <laughs> No, no! George proved that he's good king and first choice! George saved baby lions! Gadget! Oh now! Save your applause! I only did what any other amazing jungle king would do. <laughs> You can apply. Steve, best king ever. George, go. Anyone here, George? Please, you're making me blush. George, leave now. Forever. George? George! George! I found out why George got sick. Someone hit him with his blowgun dart, and it's poison with pufferfish puffin' pillow venom. Oh, come on.
Come on. Like, we're supposed to remember you finding that thing? It was like ten scenes ago, and I wasn't even there. <gasps> Steve! Hold on. Steve hit George with that? From space? He was always good with a blowgun. Ow. Too good. <laughs> so, you finally figured it out. Ape was right. I totally want revenge. I mean, duh. Of course you'll all suffer for tossing me aside. What did you do with George? Besides utterly destroy his self-worth and make him leave in disgrace. What did you expect from a man with a weasel for a heart? You think I'm good with a blowgun? I'm even better at networking. Get it? <laughs> ah, uh, this good net! Your treachery will never succeed! I know your secret. Without your bananas, you are nothing. Nothing! Steve, this was your home. Think about what you're doing! Oh, I have. For years! Do you think this kind of revenge happens by accident? Now, who's going in first? Ah! Oh my! <laughs> Pandora! George! Let George's friends go! You think you're a match for the Steve? I'm with trillions! I have my own spaceship! I've even walked on the surface of the Steve! <laughs> Steve, better spaceman, better looking, maybe even better king, but George, better crushy ball! George! No, no! Wait! Anybody bring Grace? What was Steve's fate? He fell in lava. Or maybe not. George not pay attention. That's dramatically convenient. George, even though you thought you were worthless, you returned and saved your friends. Actually, George come back after George saw scary men in jungle. <laughs> Welcome back, king of the jungle. <laughs> I guess hugs will just have to wait till you're better. <laughs> Waiting for sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Friends, where would we be without them? Always there in times of need, never judging, forever supportive. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly of all, true friends would never, ever tell each other the cold, hard truth. Say something to him. George no want to hurt Ape feelings? Magnolia, tell Ape. No way, Ursula. Ursula, ask him. Then we all run away. No, George like Ape. Only hate Ape cooking. I hope you all brought your appetites. I've been toiling in the kitchen all day to make everyone's favorite dish, my jungle jelly surprise. From these hands to your stomachs and thence to all of our hearts. Can George have hot sauce? Hmm, I suppose. One moment. <laughs> oh, good idea. Magnolia's smart. Oh, please. You got Abe out of the room with that hot sauce idea. Come on. George just wants sauce to burn tongue, so George no taste jelly. It's like stink badger, eat skunk, then bleh on plate. One bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Oh, so good, we not wait for sauce. Wish there was more. Oh dear, I'm afraid I didn't have the foresight to prepare seconds. <laughs> Say it isn't so. No need to cry, my friends. I'll simply get started on my biggest batch ever. Why, we always go overboard. <laughs> It's heartwarming what true friends will do for one another, isn't it? Meanwhile, out among the stars, a lone extraterrestrial is in dire need of a friend. 
But this isn't any run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial. Poor Carl. He thinks he's found a remote outpost of his own kind. Yes, his name is Carl. Narrators know things like this. He's a Jalesian from the Gelati Quadrant. And this is what's known as a Jalesian mind mode, by which he can share his thoughts and knowledge. Magnolia? Hmm, this looks like one of my... Keep your lightning bolts off me, you darn dirty jellies! And so, George and his friends were press jellied into building a huge... Uh, something for the now intelligent and ornery desserts. Call it Jungle Jelly Surprise, he no kidding! How could they be alive? I mean, what's in that recipe? The more puzzling question is, where did they all come from? Ape make them all! <gasps> but you ate all my jellies, remember? Oh, that is tough one. We can worry about wherever they came from after we're free. The solution to our plight is simple, my friends. We shall band together and eat our jelly overlords. <laughs> There has got to be another way! No worry! George set jungle free! Before <laughs> Ape learned truth! Oh! Ah! Hold on! I know I've got something in here about fighting aliens! Ah, got it! Just make jellies more angry! And make more jellies! Only one thing we can do! You mean? Yes. Eat. Why do you keep doing that whenever somebody mentions eating jellies? Luckily, before anyone has to tell Ape the terrible truth, something even more terrible happens. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> had us building a gigantic vegetable steamer. These uh, asparagus wouldn't have stood a chance against it. Ooh, too bad we smashed it. We must stop the 
Cartoon Menace, let us fight for the one who gave us the spark of life, Fort Carl! Oh, maybe Carl coming spaceship that crashed a couple nights ago. A UFO crash land in the jungle and you didn't tell anybody? George afraid you say he crazy. We'd never say. No, George right. He say he see flying saucer meet uh, him with club. Please, please, please have answers. Oh, I was kind of hoping for some alien super weapons. I record this sad tale as a warning to others. For millennia, my kind lived in peace and prosperity. But we didn't have the heart to tell our cooks that we hated their specialty, asparagus surprise. Instead of eating it, we hid it. As the eons passed, the asparagus evolved. Like so many leftovers that had never been refrigerated, they turned evil. They spread their disgusting texture, bitter taste, and startling effect on urine across the galaxy. As the last of my kind, I ask all beings to forgive us for creating such monsters. What? But if Carl was the last of his kind, where did all those extra jellies come from? Oh, jelly's not extra. They yours. We all hate oh, jungle, jungle jelly, jelly surprise. surprise. Why didn't you say so? Do you have any idea how much I hate making jungle jelly surprise? <laughs> Wildebeest hooves and providing them with running shoes in exchange is driving me bankrupt. I only made jungle jelly surprise because you all said you loved it. And, well, because. Oh, because you love us! We all hug his group now! We sorry. We no tell truth because we don't want hurt ape feelings. Wow! If only we told each other the truth, none of this would have happened. <sighs> That's what real friends do. We lie to one another. Arr! Enough hug! Break up or me start clubbing! So, we're all good then? Except for aliens invading jungle. Should really get on that. Right. And their only weakness is their edible. <laughs> George will need a lot of hot sauce. Eat another bite. Oh. oh, alien aftertaste worse. Oh, oh, he's right. Blech. Those guys were disgusting. Almost as disgusting as apes. Right? Sorry. We are Sundacons from Sector Sprinkle here to enslave you. Maybe George have room for dessert. Interception. Again. You show up at a party wearing the same dress as the hostess. Do you A, tell her she looks fat in it, B, throw salsa on her, or C, convince everybody else at the party she smells like a badger? Hmm. Those magazine quizzes will rot your brain. 
I'm bored. Oh, oh, oh! George and Ape are more bored. It's a natural fact that guys get more bored than girls. Girls get bored, too. Sure, but girls can braid their hair all day and be happy. Hey, true. Oh, Magnolia! <laughs> Woohoo! Someone's in trouble, finally! <laughs> Last one there's a hairy monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, can I break your hair? <laughs> Over there! Got it all on tape. You wanted to go over the waterfall? I wish I had broken something. Ah, I wish I'd cracked my head open. I, I, I wish I'd landed on a rock so hard, I just <gasps> vaporized. That would be extreme. George, hey, are you okay? Hey, extreme lame brains. Ursula, don't it's the only cute boys in the jungle? <laughs> No, those guys do that TV show, Extreme Lame Brains, where they do the really dangerous stunts. Guilty as charged. I'm Rip Hoot. <laughs> and this is my little bro, Trip Hoot. <laughs> hoot Hoot, girl. <laughs> what kind of stunts do you boys do? Incredibly stupid ones. In case anyone wondered, I found the shallow spot. Extreme! Trip, get a shot of this! We're here in the jungle where this man-eating gorilla has just been attacked by man-eating snakes! That's just a little garden snake. <laughs> Who dares me to swallow this in one gulp? Huh? Huh? Oh, I do! I dare you! <laughs> it's in my pants! <laughs> get it out! <laughs> Hey, hey, you want to see something extreme? Uh, check this out. <laughs> wow. <gasps> George, why would you do something so lame-brained? Well, they thought it was cool. Oh, plus I, I found a wristwatch. That is truly lame-brained. Yeah, George does this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah, but he does it for a reason, not just to be cool. Oh, we don't do extreme junk because it's cool. Even though it is. We do it so we can tell everyone we did it on TV! What is it with boys and bragging? Natural male behavior. George can take on any dare you can dish out. Boys. Just because you girls can't be as extreme as a guy. Hey! I can certainly be an extreme lame brain if then I won't. You boys go do your stupid stunts. See if we care. George is gonna show you something so lame brain, I can't even believe I'm gonna watch. What is it? Bobbing for piranhas? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Can we try that again? I left the lens cap on my camera. Uh, uh sure. 
<laughs> These jungle chili peppers are so hot, they burn anything they touch. But we dared this jungle man to... <laughs> this film is gonna make us rich! <laughs> Lamos don't give a hoot about George and Abe. I'm afraid they're gonna get the guys hurt. We are dressed up like crocodiles, and they are the Lamos. This dare is something nobody's ever done on video before. Lava surfing! <laughs> the four of us are gonna jump our surfboards down to the first rim, then ride down to the waves of molten rock. <laughs> Uh, isn't this a little too extreme? Yeah, maybe for this one, George will dare you to go. Uh, hoot hoot. Yeah, hoot hoot. Sure, we would make you do something we were too chicken to do ourselves. <laughs> See you down there. <laughs> uh, no. Well, 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 what? I'm not jumping into a volcano. Come on, I dare you. I double, triple dare you. Last one in's a hairy monkey. Whoa! You guys are bigger lame brains than I thought. Hey! You didn't do the dare! Oh, hoot hoot. Uh -huh. Looks like you'll have to lava surf now! George, I'm running out of board! of Tookie Tookie as a second language at summer school. Hang on! I want to get really close on your faces! That's extremely scared! I'm so scared, I think I wet your pants! Save us! Help us! Thanks, Ursula. Thanks, Magnolia. <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. Uh-huh. I'm bored. Yep. To survive in the jungle, you must be able to take the intense heat. <laughs> Only a brave few are able to withstand the smoke, <laughs> the fire. <laughs> From the 75 candles on old Grouch Mouse's birthday.
birthday cake. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's a trick candle? <laughs> 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 Prank me! Everyone forgets that old Grouch Mouth was the king of the pranksters. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> old Grouch Mouth may be old, but I still got it, and I'm gonna prove it. <sighs> George, I need to talk to you. Rather, lots of people need to talk to you. Yeah. Hey, wash the pink right off my feathers. Hey, baby, get water up my nose. He made me pull his finger. He made me wet my bed. Well, somebody put my hand in that glass of warm water. Okay, okay, don't worry about a thing. George will just sit old Grouch Mouth down and have a little talk with him. Come on, just sit down. George, what? Talk to you. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, can't catch me! Hey! Georgie still got it. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't stop old Grouch Mouth. Now everyone thinks George has lost his touch. <laughs> hey! <laughs> See? I don't get respect anymore. Look, he's been at this a lot longer than you. You're just gonna have to fight him using your head. I already tried that. I got a headache. Old Grouch Mouth is at it again, eh? <laughs> In the old days, he pulled pranks on everyone. And he would have kept it up, too, if it hadn't been for one human. The mighty Burbank. <laughs> he was the only one able to put a stop to Grouch Mouth's practical joke rampage. Hoopty hoo! And no one could conquer Burbank except his beloved Mighty Mary. Quit goofing around! Hey, Ape! George just thought of a way that he could use his, uh, what do you call this again? My head. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ape's head! There he is! Uh, Mr. Mighty? <laughs> George hoped you might stop old Grouch Mouth from pulling pranks on everyone. Gotcha! 
Can you give me a boost? Hoopty hoop! Ladies and gentlemen, returning after being away for 20, uh, 100 years, the mighty Burping! <laughs> and the cat, who's been causing you all so much trouble, let's have a big boo for old Grouch Mouth. <laughs> Grouch Mouth, Burbank. <laughs> what do you say we show these whiners how it's done? <laughs> Looks like the king of the jungle got in over his head. <laughs> You know what's over his head? His underwear! <laughs> <laughs> so, you want in on the fun, eh? Uh -oh. <laughs> we still got it! <laughs> Gotcha! All right, you guys. Uh, we're kind of busy, kid. George wants you out of the jungle. Nobody wants you guys around here anymore. Got it? Oh, George, maybe you shouldn't be quite that hard on them. I mean... <gasps> you crotchety, skin-sagging meanie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did George ever use his, uh, what's it called? Don't worry, I've got an idea. <laughs> uh, why did Ursula take us here? You remember how there was only one person who could tame old Grouch Mouth? Yeah. Stupid, mighty Burbank. <laughs> well, there's one person who can tame the mighty Burbank, and here she is. Meet Mighty Mary. All right, where is he? <laughs> Great goofing around. Sorry for missing aquarobics, sweetums. Well, you should be. Now, come on, we got shuffleboard in 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, uh, Burbank almost forgot. Old Grouch Mouth is gonna come stay with us? Mm. Well, you better get him dry clean first. Ah, uh, come here, you big furball. Hey, you furball, I want the aisle seat. Now Jungle will be normal again. George can finally relax. <laughs> we still got it!